Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is day 17 of 30 Days Lost in Space. Uh, this is what we did yesterday, and we got the uh, seven segment LED. It's still got plastic cover over there, I think. I, might, I won't take it off. Um, today, I thought we were going to be adding more to it, but we're not. We've got a very strange um, video today, so I'll uh, let Alex explain what's going to happen, and then I'll come back and see if we can work it all out. Incoming transmission, once again, from Memento Corp. This is Alex. Uh, and uh, today was going to be a little bit of an interesting day um, in, in that sense. We are not going to be doing a whole lot with uh, that whole aspect of things and the board. Um, today, actually, um, we found for you um, something really good, and that is the uh, air systems for your ship that will help you get back to the surface of the where you guys are currently at the bottom of the ocean or wherever you guys are, some large body of water. What this will allow you to do is it allow you to get back up uh, and on the surface so you can hopefully get the rest of your stuff repaired and back home as soon as possible. Now, the thing is though, um, unfortunately, uh, the air systems are very specific to your ship. In fact, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very old model ship, as you recall. Um, and before they had a very standard use, uh, unit of uh, measurements for all these other things, um, we've been we have to rely on the values that are currently uh, in a bit of code that we're going to be including down below uh, this video. And uh, you're going to have to run that code um, to get those values. Now, the only problem is it's currently encrypted. So you're going to have to end up decrypting it now. Uh... So encryption and uh, the code that we've got today isn't really code you can see it's it's all over the place it's not very long but it's obviously doing something that i've got no idea what it does because i don't understand a word of it uh, what i do understand is that these seem to be libraries uh, so that should be an h at the end by the looks of it so if you were to think about it you can probably work out how many numbers you need to shift one way or the other uh, in the video he did talk about caesar ciphers so I have Google Caesar Cipher and came up with this, uh, which seems to be the one that he was using in the video as well. Uh, what I've done is take the first line of that, the Pages Blue. Um, it's uh, seven is what it, the site defaults to. So we'll start with zero and then it's exactly the same. Uh, if we shift it one letter out of the way, it doesn't make sense. If we keep clicking through, and just like it did on the video, it showed a 19, and 19 does make sense. That comes back with include Arduino.h, the Arduino library. Uh, so that seems to work. What I'll do is actually copy, oh, not move, I'll copy all of it. Uh, grab all of that. Let me put all of that in there. And then it comes back with, there we go, we're including the Arduino, uh, the display. Uh, we're connected to two and three, so I'll need to change those to the ones that I've got it connected to. Uh, between tests, we're running the test delay at 2000. Um, and then uh, looks like we're calling the display, the display again. Uh, looping, setting the brightness to 0F, which is 7 in hex. That's okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's copy it all across. So I'll copy all that across this time. Uh, grab that from there. I shall put that in my seven segment library. Actually, I'll open a new one. Uh, get rid of that and put that in there instead. So it's made some of it orange and that. Let's have a closer look at the code. Right, so we're including the Arduino H, which hasn't got orange, in, strangely enough. I don't know, I might not have that library. I'll have to have a look and see. Uh, now, I was going to change these back to the numbers that they were on there before, uh, which was, let's have a look at the actual board itself. Uh, clock, I've got as the red wire, which is going to 6. 
and the other one is five so that's doing all that uh what i shall do let me uh come back to this display so you can see that it's run yesterday's um software we'll upload it we won't bother saving that for now it's uploading so it's obviously compiled okay so the library wasn't missing uh we've got some numbers coming up on here 23 353 1688 23 353 1688 uh don't know what that means so let's have a look we're setting the brightness uh we're sending data of nothing so hearing it uh then we're showing as it says number 23 353 and 1688 uh, i don't know what these bits mean uh false true and true doesn't seem to be making a difference to the numbers being displayed on there uh 23 353 1688 doesn't mean anything to me As any numbers of any note no idea at all uh all right three one three one four zero false true and true uh what would that do it's showing the number now previously we just had it showing the number the the i number was on the other one so this is actually adding extra bits to the show number deck i assume we'll get told what that is tomorrow and indeed find out what the numbers mean tomorrow as well um yeah i don't know hmm. obviously something to do with getting us up out of the ocean that's the important thing to worry about so that has been another day uh that was uh where are we day 17 uh so let's have a look and see uh actually before i go the title of this day uh i don't know what that means let's let's put that into the uh encoder there and see i copied the title from there put that in there it means a cryptic message it, it is and it works so that's okay so uh thank you for joining me for day 17 i shall see you tomorrow for day 18 and when hopefully if i'm doing something the focus will work but yeah we'll see you soon thanks for watching i'll let him fly now and we'll go bye bye um what you can do is you can uh, then quickly run it on the board and it should hopefully on that display print the values that are required um, to get your ship uh, inflated uh, or the systems to inflate and get, um, bring your system back, your ship back up to the surface. Um, and once that's all done, um, we can get in the next day and we can start wiring that up and getting your system ready to get back up uh hopefully once again to dry land so we can look forward to that um and uh little hint if you ever get stuck um you can look back at some of the encryption algorithms we talked about in this video and try those um in case you get ever stuck but without with uh with that being said i'm gonna wrap up today here um if you want to learn more about security encryption etc um you can leave a comment down below. Maybe we'll make another video later on. It's kind of a different uh, tone of video for this one. But uh, this has been Alex. Once again, and I'm out.